Well, welcome back, my YouTube radio friends, to another radio video this morning. Uh, this is not the video that I was hoping to make for today. So I had uh, a great plan yesterday, as uh, some of you know. I uh, just bought a new radio uh, a couple weeks ago, a uh, Texan S8800, and I've been really looking forward to getting that out in the field and uh, and testing it on medium wave against um, some of my other radios and uh, I had this plan I was I was gonna you know take some radios out to a park nearby and uh, roll the film you know bring a camera and um, and compare some weak signal AM stations during the day um, and that plan just didn't work out uh, first of all uh, I don't usually get a lot of time to do those kind of videos and um, uh, so I had some time yesterday uh, but the problem is the weather here has been crappy it's been awful this is kind of in in Jersey we've gone from we kind of had an early fall and went right to winter so we had snow last week and it's been cold and it's and if it hasn't been cold and snowy it's been wet and rainy um, so anyway, I had a, an afternoon and it looked like it was going to be pretty good. Uh, looked like the sun was going to come out, wasn't going to be too cold and great. I've got about an hour. I'm going to go out to the park, take some video, put a video, uh, you know, put a, a video up. But I, by the time I got out there, the sun was, uh, was gone. Uh, it was really cold. It was, the wind was blowing. It was just awful. So I was trying to soldier through and, um, I was taking video and I realized that my new GoPro camera was was creating all kinds of interference on AM with my radio so if I got close to it that's all you heard it was just the pits so anyway I'm doing something different today so what I wanted to share with you today in the comfort of my radio room here in my basement um, is a little bit about um, my feed system for my radios and uh, this is kind of the unseen part of my uh, 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 of the radio business uh, here at my desk um, but I thought it would be interesting to you uh, to show you a little bit of, of how I connect my radios to my antenna so the first thing that I would say to anyone uh, who is interested in the radio hobby and I'm sure you've heard this before and I'm sure I said it before that it's really worth taking the time to to put together a decent antenna system a decent external antenna system for your radio I have just found that I got so much more enjoyment out of the hobby when um, when I finally put together a, a decent external antenna outside so um, I'm not going to show that to you today it's um, just kind of briefly it's it's a random wire antenna it's basically a long piece of wire um, with a with a nine to one transformer at its feed point uh, which is kind of ground level it's in an inverted L so the, the wire goes up about 20 feet and then it goes out and kind of slopes down about um, about 80 feet or so so it's a pretty good length of wire and it's fed into the shack by um, kind of typical coax which I have right here so I'm gonna uh, take it from this point and show you a little bit about how I uh, how I connect these things uh, to the various radios that I use all right let's uh, let's move the coffee out of the way so here is um, this is where my antenna comes in this is just a kind of a typical piece of, of uh, uh, Kind of ham radio coax um, and uh, nothing special about it and so this goes out to my antenna outside so um, the problem is how do you how do you connect this now most of the radios that I have in fact I think all of the radios that I have don't have a socket for this kind of plug so uh, I need to get uh, this uh, to my radios in a, in a different a different way now I do have I do have some adapters and uh, I'll show you um, I mean those those can be had but um, 
but I also find that I'm, uh, as you know, many of you that watch my videos, I, I'm always cycling through radios. I, it's kind of like the radio of the week. Uh, I'll pull one out of the box on the shelf and I'll, I'll listen to it for a while. Uh, and then I'll put that away and pull another one out. Or sometimes I compare radios, um, which is fun. So I, I'm always connecting and reconnecting radios. So I wanted something that was, that made that process a little easier. Now, when I, first was getting going with this I didn't even have the, the plug on the end I just had a bare center conductor and the bare braid and I had alligator clips clipped to it and I was always clipping and unclipping things it was just a real mess uh, and it was you know kind of lossy I guess you would say it was just not a very effective system so over time I, uh, I developed uh, a different system uh, which is this now this comes with the disclaimer, right? Uh, I am an amateur amateur, which means I do things by trial and error. And sometimes theory is not my, uh, my strong suit. So I try to do things that kind of work for me based on the limited bit of knowledge that I have. So this is just a junction box that I made for my antennas. And, uh, it's really simple. It's a piece of, um, I'm not even sure what what this is. I think it's like a, a wood box. I think it's a wood box, like a thin wood box that uh, I don't remember what came in it, but it was it was really easy, it was very lightweight and easy to work with. Ideally, it would you know probably a metal box would be the best. Um, but I compensated that because I wanted it to have some shielding capability, so I just covered it with this uh, foil tape that you use for duct work which seemed to be pretty easy and seemed to do the job. And uh, so basically it's just a, an input here uh, and three outputs. So the input that I chose was uh, basically RCA jacks. See, you can pick these up for, I don't know, 50 cents or something like that at Universal Radio. And uh, you drill a hole and then there's a little nut screws in tight. And um, um, so for the, antenna line here I have this adapter I hope this is in focus I really do I can't see that well um, so I've converted my coax to um, to an RCA connector and I just stick it in there and this is not high-tech at all this is just uh, the, the it's a little loose well I got to do something about that uh, but anyway, let's see if it works. Um, so I have the um, the center conductor is just wired in parallel uh, to these three jacks. It's just a way of distributing um, distributing the line. It's it's not fancy. It's not a switch. So all of these are live at the same time. Uh, now, those of you in the know. Uh, would suggest that this is a really bad idea and you're setting yourself up for all kinds of problems. And I know that. Um, uh, the reason I have three, well, there's really no reason I have three. Uh, I really wanted at least two connections so that I could hook an antenna up to the same, uh, hook two radios up to the same antenna, which this does very effectively. The reason I have three is, I, I don't know, I usually don't have all three working at the same time but I typically have two plugged in at the same time. So the, the RCA connectors really make it easy to disconnect. So if I'm, uh, you know, if there's a storm coming or if I'm not using the radios for a while, I'll just slide it out. Bingo, it's real easy. I don't have to screw it back in for my purposes. And again, this is really designed for my purposes. This works just fine. I mean, it works just fine. Very easy connections. And then I can plug, uh, uh, my other radios in here. So I'm just going to slide this over for the time being. And uh, what I have found is that audio cables work pretty well. Uh, I'm going to do a little test to, to see how well they do, but here's a um, real easy to find. This is a, this is a lot longer than I need. I probably only need a two foot or a three foot cable, but this has an RCA connector on one end. And then it has the 3.5 millimeter plug mono on this end which is the kind that most radios use for if they have an antenna input like that. So um, 
connecting a radio is a pretty, pretty simple matter. Plugging that in and then you can stick that in uh, your radio on the other end. This also has, um, so I, I have a couple of these. I also have, uh, and I think it's currently hooked up to my uh, radio right now. Let's see if I can find the other end to this. Pull it out. All right, here's the other end. This is just another, this is another junk audio cable. It's actually a video cable, I guess. But you know, these, these cables are basically coax, you know, co they're coaxial, I should say. Now you wouldn't transmit on something like this. I suppose you could if it was really low power. But it's, it's a, a center conductor, an insulator and a, and a braid around it. And that's exactly what these are, right? So they function just fine for the kind of receiving work that I do. And so uh, this, this one uh, at the end is, uh, you know, bare wire, the conductor and the braid, and it's connected into the screw terminals on the back of that. So there I've got two radios hooked up to the same antenna. Um, and there doesn't seem to be a great loss of, uh, I, uh, to be honest, I don't detect any loss of signal. Um, and in my next video, I'm going to uh, kind of experiment a little bit uh, with this system and see if there's any kind of uh, loss that I'm experiencing um, by having two going at the same time. Now, what I will, and I, personally, I don't think if it is, it's minimal and it doesn't again for my purposes it doesn't matter if you are a really serious kind of hardcore uh, dx uh, listener and you have some really high-end communication receivers this is probably not going to suffice you're, there's probably going to be some issues you're going to notice the difference but for the way i listen to radios and the kind of radios that i have I, it really doesn't make any difference. Now I do, it doesn't seem to me to make any difference. Let me put it that way. Uh, I do sometimes have interference problem or noise problems depending upon what I have plugged in. You know, sometimes um, something that I have plugged in will actually act as an antenna and then kind of come through and uh, affect the others. But, uh, and I usually know which ones to unplug or not to have together. But um, this is a, a pretty simple project. Again, this took me all of, I don't know, this was basically free with the exception of buying some some uh, sockets uh, for the RCA connectors, a couple of adapters. Uh, but it's a really simple way to connect your radios. So um, I'm going to do uh, a couple of tests with this and kind of see how uh, if it degrades the signal in any significant way. Um, and I'm also going to show you in another video how to connect um, a, a, an antenna for medium wave uh, to radios that don't have a, uh, a, a, a medium wave antenna external socket. Um, so anyway, that's it for this video. I hope this has been interesting. Stay tuned and I will do some tests and we'll uh, see how this thing works. Thanks for watching.